It was just two weeks ago when players and fans scattered after gunshots rang out at the homecoming game at Richfield High School. Today in Anoka County, two adults and two teenagers are facing similar charges. They're accused of bringing guns to the homecoming game at Coon Rapids High School. Josiah Wessa Jr. and Ishmael Kamara are the two adults charged. According to prosecutors, their weapons were ghost guns with no serial numbers. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan reports on the big tip that might have prevented a tragedy. There are signs up at the state fair. You hear the announcements at the airport. We could all recite this together. If you see something, you say something. But here in Coon Rapids on Thursday night, it was a prime example of how public safety means all of us need to work together. We can't just sit on the sideline. Security was tight already. The school district hired eight off-duty officers. The rules also clear no one without a school ID gets in. According to police, the four people arrested did not have school IDs, so they were turned away at the entrance. As they returned to their car, officers said a bystander overheard them talking about guns and watched one of the guys take one out. The bystander then called police. If you ask yourself, should I, or somebody should call 911 or should I call 911, you should call 911. Let the police department at least come and assess the situation. That's exactly what an officer did, and he too saw the firearms, giving him probable cause to investigate. Detectives tonight report the weapons recovered were ghost guns, no serial numbers, and one of them had a mechanism that made it fully automatic. Possessing a gun on school grounds, that, that made it part of the crime right there, that they, they had the gun there, but also we're dealing with um, adults and ju uh, juveniles who weren't 21. To carry a firearm, you have to be 21 years old, or to have a permit to carry. At school today, students and parents we spoke with expressed some relief, but they were ready to move on. I think a lot of teenagers are worried about mass shootings all the time, uh, but my perspective with my kids is that you can't live your life in fear. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. A spokesperson for Coon Rapids Police said officers will continue to work on security for football games.